Okay, so here we go. Three, two. All right, what is up, everyone? Welcome back to the Sonic Birthday Blast Marathon. We got a Team Chaotix LTS run in store for you all. I'm Aura. We got Deku on the sticks, and we got Soup on the call with me. What's up, guys? Yo, yo, yo. What's good? Yo, hello, people. <laughs> Let's go. Um, yeah, I will be the runner. Team Chaotix is pretty cool. You can see we have four different teams to choose. Team Chaotix team is like, you have to get the, all the objectives instead of just running to the goal ring, which I think is really fun. Um, let me know when I need to start. Or should I get um, the countdown? Yeah, I was like, I if can... you're ready, now yeah, you can get the countdown. All yeah, right. sure, you can, you can go ahead. Yeah. All, right. all right, I'm going in three, two, one, go. All right, Team Chaotix um, is like, oh. If I can have the commentators explain how the first stage works. Yeah, so this is a uh, get 12 hermit crabs, or 12, ten. 10 hermit crabs. And we just get the first 10. There's there's no reason. Sk skipping any of them is, isn't really good. Going backwards is, is not good either. So we just, you'll, you'll see some, some cool routing to get, get other things out of order in other stages, but not in this one. Yeah, no, for this, yeah, it'll be. It's very. It's yeah. It's very all early on in the stage. It's like as you see, like immediately, uh, like it's not even all just on the beaten path. Like you will be going off a little bit. So Deku's gonna like hit this slope jump here to get a crab. So like there is still even for this will be like a bit of coolish routing, but it's just kind of like knowing where all the crabs are. Yeah, I should mention there are twenty of them in the level, but there are only ten required for the the first mission that you complete in the run. So. There, there will, there are some levels where you have some choices to which objectives you get, but yeah, we end up playing this one pretty, pretty intended. And speaking of, we got a uh, the, in the in the category name, you can see we uh, we got LTS here, which is basically the no major glitches of this game. But for Chaotix, it's going to be pretty similar to what you'd see in Unrestricted, since you can't really skip much when you kind of need to collect a bunch of stuff. I think there's only three stages that really differ that I can think of. Yep. Yeah, it's three, yeah, because there's like the pinball launches, so you would like you would do the casino park glitch slightly different, and then yeah, the two bop boosts in Rail Cannon and Frog Forest. So yeah, in those stages we'll get to see a bit more of them than you would in Unrestricted, but actually, yeah, the rest of this is gonna be very, very ba basically the same. Yeah, it's pretty crazy because this game has gotten broken wide open. Like there's major skips in every level in Sonic and Dark and almost every level for Rose. Maybe. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. I can only think of Seagate, like the first day. That's not broken. And so this one, despite having an objective marker, is basically a get to the end stage. Just the Chow is just at the end of the path, so you just... One of the few just get to the end missions, but... Not many opportunities for bot boost, because the... The, the long open section actually gets cut out by a flower, so it would be faster to take the flower than to skip the turtle section with the mob boost like you see in other teams. Yeah, no, 100%. And uh, this yeah. stage is really cool. It's like when, uh, one uh, game we go there, there's, um, so it's like generally outside of like the turtle section, which would be one of the defining sections of Ocean Palace, there's also like the doors. All well, the doors have like a few different methods to break them, and like sometimes it can just be really hard and just uh, a big kind of like teller of like getting around ocean palace is like how good you can be at breaking some of these doors yeah the doors are, are a lot harder than they look because you've got to hit it twice and the door bounces back significantly after the first hit so you can't just like hit it twice in place so there are some, there are some pretty cool strats to like store the belly flop pit box that I, I i saw deku try a few times i don't know if you did you get get it yeah i got did, one did, yeah got one of them yeah, it's kind of weird how the game like kind of just stores your belly flop hitbox after you land and do one of the ground excels, which I guess I haven't explained yet. But and if you switch back early enough, the the, the hitbox activates again for whatever reason. And yeah, you can belly flop into the ground, and if you switch characters before you land, you get if you switch to charm, you get a bunch of height, and if you switch to SP, you get a bunch of speed. Yep. So it's, it's, we're going to be using that a lot. You yeah, know, it's really nice definitely for like getting, uh, like especially say like from 
if you're in the air, like if you're like falling down to like a lower place, you can like ground excel and like belly flop into SBO to get a bunch of speed really quickly. Or uh, you know, if there's a place where you need to get up high and like the normal way to get it is really slow, then yeah, you would see a vector belly flop into Charmy to get a bunch of extra oh. height. Here we have Egg Hawk. Oh my gosh, we're getting second cycle in Egg Hawk. Didn't get back <laughs> fast enough. We need to bait him back just far enough so that he hits a trigger that causes him to go and do the rotary attack in the circle, which is way, way, way faster than trying to chase him down unless you have the IL strats, but the IL strats are fucking impossible, so don't do that. Yeah. <laughs> Very difficult. Shout out to the Rebel. All right. <laughs> I don't even know how it's possible for Team Chaotix. I need to, like, you don't even have the light dash to chase him down with. Yeah, it's just like there's a specific frame where if you fire down, you just deal like 70 damage. <laughs> but it's like it's impossible to calculate because it's like exactly like two frames. Yeah, this game is really good. This is certainly a video game. During Grand Metro. Grand, yeah, Grand Metro. This stage, uh, definitely one of the like first, like really, really hard levels where it's like just a bunch of like uh, different stuff that we can do here. There's 85 robots to kill, a lar very large number, and uh, it'll kind of get into a bit of the combat of the game. So to kind of talk about, we've uh, we have the character level ups, and the character level ups will kind of determine like how much damage we do or whether or not there's like particular properties on moves. So say for example, um, uh, at level zero SBO does one damage but at level one we do two so what we can do there is grab that SBO level up immediately and then have one of our friends to follow us with the homing attack and we do two damage and then the enemy our teammates do one damage so that we can kind of like kill the enemies really quickly there and then at level two we do three damage and like same with kind of like the charmy thunder shoots where like at first they like don't do any damage and then starting from level two you just kind of like start killing stuff so a big objective is to get to level two SBO and level two charmy really quickly in this stage so that we can kill these enemies pretty quickly uh, in terms of character level ups uh you can either go to checkpoints find them in capsules or um a 50 50 of the character you're not using on every time you defeat a fifth enemy you get like a character orb then and so it's like you either get one of the two characters you're not using so we have to kind of route around whether or not how we're killing enemies because if we need a level for the character we are playing like we can't really use them if we want to get their level ups it's kind of funny how the the one level that that's your objective is to kill a bunch of enemies vector is probably the worst character on the team still and not yeah. and, and his and his levels are the most useless you don't actually use his level up abilities a single time so level zero is as good as level three for this level but as soup mentioned we do need sbo and charmy levels because we also use the, the i don't know if you said the level three breakpoint gives you the the wind physics that knocks off shields and allows you to attach for poles which we'll be using as well and then level two charmy is just super busted it only does three damage, but the level one property allows it to lock on to multiple enemies in a row. So you can just kill a bunch of small enemies, even if they're kind of spread apart in one go, as long as you can aim it correctly. Yeah, they're super nice. Like you just do chunk, uh, you do get the chunk like large towards of enemies. Cause like a lot of the time, like, yeah, you really only need to do three damage for a bunch of these enemies. Like with the exception of like a few, of like some kind of like boss kind of enemies of like the like the yellow dudes and like the big hammer robots like things basically only have three. so yeah no as soon as you get to level two charmy you just get to chunk a ton of like smaller hordes yeah there are some mid-tier enemies with six like the wizards and the jellyfish robots but yeah most of them are either three or like 20. And yeah, that was uh, that was the use for the level three as we saw there. We saw it earlier as we homing attacked an enemy with a shield, and the tornado probably also gets rid of shields. And that's uh, that's what we get with the and level it, and three. And it flips the end. turtle there that allows you to kill that without using vector. Yes. So yeah, we, we pretty much only use vector for the belly flop during this. We do like one set of grounded attacks on the enemies in the doors, I think, and I think everything else is a belly flop because you can. Kill, them, kill enemies while doing ground excels at the same time, but Vector's ground attacks are so slow. Yeah, they're Bix, so Bix as well, 
Like, Knuckles and, and Omega keep a bunch of speed with their punches, but sadly, no, not, not Vector. Yeah. Uh, yeah, no, that was all 85 enemies. Again, a lot, but again, we saw Deku doing a pretty good job kind of just navigating through all of it. Yeah, it's a good thing, like, most of the enemies are just on the main path. So it's yeah, there are a few that are pretty easy to run past, because they actually don't spawn in until you get close. And if you're going fast enough, you actually, like, maybe, you'll only see their shadow, and you'll have to, like, realize it's really easy to run past some of them and forget if you don't know. I've definitely done that. Yeah, I've been there. All right, so you actually want to go back to collect the, or to get the the last uh -oh. turtle first. You need to get three turtles. There are five, and the last one is right at the very end before the flower that turns you around. All right, bro. All right, bro. I got it. <laughs> oh no, I died. <laughs> That's war. Yeah, see. You actually, you actually save objective progress in, in every chaotic stage. Uh, what, so the, they, they basically act, act as checkpoints almost in a way. Well, they don't really. Or, so like every time you, you get an objective, that's saved, even if you die before collecting a checkpoint. So we can go back to the start, which since we went backwards, the start is actually in front of where we were. So the Death Warp actually saves time. So it's really nice. That was actually really unfortunate. So generally the way that uh, that beginning room would go, you saw Deku kind of struggling with it a little bit. Uh, we kind of, we went a little too fast. We want to actually wait for the turtle to kind of start its attack and like bait it to yeah. do so. And then when we kill it, it'll one tap it. Deku actually, I, I, I thought Deku was fine. It actually had to have been like, I was just like literally a, a frame too early. The tiniest frame too early. That was so unfortunate. <laughs> oh well. Yeah, gold turtles are so annoying. The normal ones you can just chunk right through as vector, but you actually have to hit them in the head on the gold yeah. ones. And yeah, in specific timings, they'll like huddle up before you can do it, and it, it's really annoying. I've got a fun strat coming up here, though. Goodbye. Very nice. <laughs> Print, print, print. This is one of the earlier ones, but now we have. There's so many manips to to just uh, force the enemy team to jump off the edge rather than having to fight them. Yeah, pretty sure every one of them has a manip like that at this point. Used to be just a few back in the day. Yeah, I'm trying to think. Do we do we have one yet for a Sonic Team Two? I don't know if one. I guess, well, I guess not to like well, we fall right off, now, but we have kinda, like, yeah, we have the it's neutral. Not, it's like, it's it's kind of a manip. You manip them into doing an attack and then you knock them off. You don't manip them into jumping off. That's true. Yeah. But you, you, you pretty much guarantee the fight to work if you do it right. I mean, the two teammates dying together is kind of a manip if you think about it. Like, in a way, yeah. Well, let's go back uh, to the no, chaotic. No star throw off the off the spawn. Oh, I forgot! I should have done the star throw. <laughs> <laughs> There's a nutty IL strat where you can get a star throw right as you right as you come in, but yeah, we'll do the the normal strat where we just get the. Oh, what was that? <laughs> I got a belly. Sorry, throw. <laughs> the air there. You're gonna be setting up for infinite slot glitch where you get your teammates stuck in the slot machine because after they go in once and then they try and come back. To the formation as Deku's above the above the entrance to the slot machine, and they'll go right back into the entrance on their way back to formation and roll the slot machine again, and so yep. it'll just keep happening until you get 200 ranks and beat the level in awesome. no time. Ultimate ninja. Pretty funny glitch. Also, very quick way to get uh, 99 lives. Yeah, it's actually really funny since th th like the ring counter itself. Like caps at 9.99, but it still like stores that you were collecting them. So you actually have to go and get hit multiple times to, to, to get to get 99 yeah. lives. You can you can store all the rings in one go of infinite slot glitch. You just have to get hit, and then it'll start counting up again. Really funny. What a uh, god! Oh, we're going to the special stage. Oh. No. <laughs> Not the special stage. Don't worry, don't worry. There are more keys. There are more keys. <laughs> okay, one cool thing about this level, so yeah, we collect 10 chips, and so in terms of uh, some routing stuff, the pinball vents are really weird. We can actually uh, essentially uh, teleport to where our teammates are if one of uh, 
the what? people was on a oh no it was like on the pinball table yeah it was a little bit of a finger moment so yeah we grab we uh go invisible with sbo so our teammates don't actually move with us and stay in the same spot to hop on a pinball table to actually collect it and then go back to charmy and then also if your teammates are far enough away from certain objects they are actually unloaded um so what we did there is we actually skipped through some cool uh like skip through one of those little bouncy things on the uh pinball table to actually just completely go through it so we don't have to navigate them with spo there and then obviously doing the same thing that we did earlier collect the fourth and fifths so that we oh can go back God. and take this flower oh. and uh wow well, i cannot believe they were down there and yeah we just they we did we get to do that a few times this stage and basically four out of like the 10 chips we collect are like that and it's kind of a uh, again just like another cool routing thing that we get to do with chaotix that we don't really get to see with any other teams it's uh, one thing that just kind of makes this category unique and fun. Yeah, so uh, so since since you, the pinball tables are the one time in the game where switching characters allows you to go to where they are instead of where you are, instead of bringing them to you, but other teams get to, to, to break some of the stages wide open with it, but obviously we have to we have to actually play the level to collect the chips. So we use it in a, in a bit more of a unique way to collect chips and then go back to a different spot. But yeah, teams, every other team can just like break the levels in half with them <laughs> instead. Yeah, that's pretty funny. Ah. Uh, no cutting glitch, what's the point? The frame will not be funny today. Storm, storm. <laughs> so this is where, what, what Soup was talking about, about the, the 50-50s with the, the level of RNG is going to become really important. So we... Oh, yeah, so we're actually going to use Vector here because S because Charmy and Espio have are the two levels we want right now. So using Vector gives us a chance for those two drops. One one isn't too bad, and yeah, so you got to you got to like have some, be able to adjust your strats based on what levels you get because there's a bunch of different combinations of the early waves depending on which what you get. And yeah, we really want level two Charmy because. As we were saying, he goes crazy. Like, you can just chunk everything here. Yeah, that wave would be so slow without him. So here we're gonna place a well-placed tornado here so that the uh, enemies kind of walk into it as they go. And then, yeah, just get Charmy ready to get the thunder shoots going. It's just, it is really quick to uh, have level two Charmy for this phase. It's it actually, it is the most imperative. We will want level three SBO and level three Vector at some point. They all have their uses to be at level three here. And uh, we will see the use for level three SBO now. We were talking about uh, the tornado property that helps with the turtles here. And uh, yeah, no, with the uh, well-placed homing attacks, ha atta making sure that we attack the faces for all the turtle robots, they just die. And so we need one more opportunity for a Vector level up. And I don't think we got it. So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna back this up by doing a team blast here. It's kind of crazy how much more RNG there is in Team Chaotix's team fights than everyone else. It's partially because uh, Vector is 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 pretty bad until he's level three for most situations, including yeah. this one. <laughs> yeah, um, with level three you destroy that robot. With level two it's like crazy. You need three SBO levels, three Vector levels, and two Charmy levels. So you need eight levels in this fight. Whereas, like for example, Team Sonic in this fight needs two Charm or two Tails and two Knuckles. So that's four versus eight levels you yeah. need. It's just so unlikely that everything's gonna go right in this fight for you. What a shame. Team Chaotix bosses in general are a lot more annoying because we'll, we'll, maybe we'll, we'll get to it a little more in some of the other bosses. But Vector, Vector is is not the greatest at, at combat. Not his strength, even though you would think it would be. Yeah, you would think that. <laughs> Charmy is the true power character. <laughs> it's so true. Yeah. Huh? Charmy. You guys know that Charmy can infinitely fly. I think Charmy just would be. <laughs> Yeah, we'll get to see it a little bit later, for if for just a moment, but we will get to see a smidgen of it. But yeah, now here we are in Rail Canyon. So, uh, rails work uh, very similar to um, Sonic Adventure 2, where you do have to balance on them to kind of like maintain your speed. So you like hold the B button, balance the rails. In this game, though, it's a little easier to actually kind of get that speed quickly, as uh, if you're holding B and then you switch the characters, 
uh, they will actually do their little animation that gets them speed uh, repeatedly when you switch to them. So we can actually just keep doing those quick switches to uh, gain a bit of speed pretty quickly. Just, just go vector back to Espio and uh, we'll be able to get speed. So that'll be a little bit, uh, we definitely have to do it there. And we're just gonna, you're just gonna see it a bunch as soon as like Deku gets on rails to go and just get a ton of speed really quickly and then just focus on rail balancing from there. You really only have to do it the first few initial times. And uh, here we're gonna well time jump, switch to Charmy to get up the top of here because there's actually no spring down there like there are in some categories. So we get up here to uh, get a nice Rocket Excel star throw to go and skip that little bottom section there. Yeah, unfortunately, Team Chaotix has has a pretty slow bottom section, so it definitely saves a bit more time. Yeah, Team Sonic, it's it's actually just like you can just take the spring down there, and it's just as good. Yo, the, the funny the flower attack. Let's go. Let's God, go. that shit never works for me. <laughs> gotta gotta do it. Well, I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, it's like a really weird timing. Like Deku was like telling me about it at some point. And I was like messing with it. And I was like, yeah, no, like it's it is like a really weird timing and kind of like positioning thing, where it's just like you have to like you just like hit like that like middle part of the flower and it just like doesn't work half the time. But you know, Deku's just just him sometimes, I guess. Yeah, it saves exactly zero seconds, but you know, it looks cool. <laughs> Gotta do it. <laughs> yeah, for the for the marathon for the fans, of course. Yeah, because yeah. most of the time you can, the, the, the flowers don't activate immediately, so you can be on the flower as soon as, like, frame one of when it activates anyway by just going in the top on on most of them, so. Yeah. No matter how you enter, it doesn't really matter. Yeah, really cool glide here, keeping the rail speed from this booster. Oh, Let's with go. the pause to get the, the extra pause. height. Let's go. That glide is so sick. I love glides in this game. The power characters are so cool. Uh, when it comes to like some of like the coolest uh, like looking movement in this game, just because of the way that glides conserve your momentum in a way, like uh, and you can just do a ton of stuff with it. If you're going really fast and you can just get a really quick double tap glide out uh, over like some kind of like gap or something or like you know where we saw there, it just it looks really cool. It feels really satisfying to do. And uh, there's again, there's just a bunch of like really really cool movement involving glides, whether or not it's like slow or like fast in terms of like conserving the momentum to do stuff. Yeah, it's 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 really nice because they, they they definitely made it that way just because that was the only way they could make the fans work properly. But the fact that that it conserves your momentum so much more than any other than any other type of jump is really useful. And it's it's even more useful for the teams where you go even faster, like Sonic and Dark. But it still finds some really good use in Chaotix and Rose. And so this is the second of what I think are the really difficult levels: Grand Metro being the one we already played, and Mystic Mansion being the last. Is, like this level is just so much tight movement nice where point. you have to collect objectives the whole time yeah that start was really good oh no i went up no. <laughs> oh that's the, that's the curse we that's we, we the just curse. had to say it that start was <laughs> extremely nasty though well, deku said it i, I, I mean that's i didn't say the commentator's curse. curse i just said the curse we just said it we had to say it it was crazy no i missed uh, the <laughs> Oh, the Thunder Boost though, all right. Yeah, I gotta show off the backup. We get in the midair star throw. Hell yeah. Let's go. Yeah, that's a tech we haven't explained yet. So during the, the, the duration of all of the speed characters grounded attacks, the game like considers you on the ground and you're allowed to jump. So you can use the attack off the edge. And as long as the animation is still going, you can get, get a jump out. So you can star throw off the edge and get, a, get your jump into the pole from there. Yeah, no, it's really nice and extremely helpful. And uh, also we get to do it. So we actually saw it at the beginning of Rail Canyon there uh, after that really long rail section. You can also do it uh, with the ground excels as well. It's like you uh, do the ground excel, the vector belly flop into SBO like and you, you hit that. I missed one. one. <laughs> yeah, Decker, he, 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 switched, he switched characters before the, the, the shot was going to hit the canister there, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I think that's what happened. Uh, yeah. It's fine. <laughs> Yeah, there there are 50 canisters in the stage, so there are backups. It is unfortunately a bit slow to get the backup canister, but there are backup canisters. I'm gonna replay the whole level or die. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, the extra mission on this stage is so annoying where you gotta get all 50. Because there's someone yeah. that bobsled, and you can't turn around on the bobsled. So if you mess up, you're gonna have to play it again. <laughs> yeah. Very fun. Yeah, there's a really okay. risky backup I could do, but it's gonna. Oh, right, yeah, I forgot about the. Yeah. You can skip this Goodness. one and, like, go out of bounds, but. Yeah, you can right. skip this, breaking this, and going and jumping straight to the out of bounds trigger that sends you into the train. But, yeah, that skip is really annoying. It makes a bit more sense when you're in the situation Deku is where he's missed one already, because the backup, the backup canister at the end is actually two. They're pretty close to each other. So he can miss another one on purpose. So yeah, normally yeah. he would have beaten the stage right there, but he's gonna have to go slightly farther. Oh, the star throw the star under throw. the laser. That was really cool. <laughs> I don't know why that the the bottom laser I think is just high enough that you can sneak under it. Because it doesn't work on all lasers, I don't believe. I think with uh with Aspio, it works on like the most uh horizontal lasers in casino park you know that if you go to the team sonic section you can just start throw under it <laughs> I don't that's know pretty why. sure the casino park one was kind of high because the kick just gets you under but i yeah. don't think the kick works in lost jungle so i was figuring those ones were lower i think like espio is just like invincible to lasers when he started in star throw or something so that's why you can just sneak under without taking damage it's kind of weird all right, so this is the main boss where Vector being bad at his job is really annoying. Because <laughs> Vector is the one who does the most damage to this boss, but unfortunately Vector has a lot less iframes on his attacks than the other power characters. Luckily yeah. didn't get hit, hit yet. But it's so easy for spamming grounded attacks to just get knocked out of them and knocked off the stage. So what we're going to instead do is try and get hit in the startup of the attack. If you get hit during the startup of Vector's grounded attack, you get popped up like this in the air, and you do a bunch of damage on the way up, and you hit him with the belly flop, and you don't risk getting hit that way. So we choose... It, it's a bit slower than if Vector were, you know, a functional power character and could just stay on the yeah. ground, but <laughs> that strat is really risky, and... Vector's the one character that won't be able to save himself if you get knocked off. Because you're allowed to double jump as Espio if you get knocked off and Charmy, but Vector, you just get to die. Yep. This fight has killed plenty of rounds. <laughs> so many from everyone. Everyone yeah. has experienced Albatross <laughs> run death. This is a stage that's really broken and unrestricted. Yeah, there are a few different ways to skip the stage as unrestricted, but uh, yeah, you can you can do the the power flying to go all the way to the end, and it's even slower than playing the level. And then you got multiple different options for Bob boost. Yep. Yeah, technically the gimmick here is to not be spotted by the frogs. Uh, and the frogs that like summon rain, and as soon as you get as soon as you get spotted, you die. However, the frogs just have the worst vision ever. You like we're gonna see coming up. Uh, we're gonna do like some movement around these three frogs here, and uh, they just don't see you. Like we we're we're just there. Like they could have seen us, but yeah, I don't you can know. Go significantly don't... closer to them too. Like you just go right over that one guy's head right there. <laughs> he does <laughs> not care. <laughs> He's facing the other way. He doesn't. He he doesn't. He didn't see anything. Nice. Oh my goodness, we hit the flower. Oh my yeah. gosh, you got the star throw off the flower. Yeah. That's that's frame perfect. What? Is it perfect? Let's go. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it is. That's awesome. The amount of frame perfect ways you can lose time in this game is actually staggering. Because that was slower than just jumping off the flower normally. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. And this last section is the section where people, the frogs are a little more vigilant. But... Yeah, it's the one time where I'm like actually kind of nervous about getting spotted since I don't go invisible. But yeah, you can still just kind of run right behind them and they don't really care. Yeah.
But that wasn't too bad. It wasn't for the star throw. <laughs> I was about to say, you lost so much time in the star throw, and it's still like, what, 143? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Impossible feat. Oh, I really have a great like. sense of, of, of LTS times in this level, but I'm pretty sure that's pretty solid, even without that mistake counted. Yeah. I mean, it's better than, well, it's better than my best. I know I'm still, I'm still relatively new to the category, but I feel Let's pretty go. confident on that stage. That's still, I, that was, I'm like, that time is good. <laughs> yeah, this stage has some cool routing. Yeah, so we're actually gonna grab seven, seven. Uh, so this is the flower that you take when you beat the level and miss some and have to go oh, back. Oh, get it. So he's he's, he's 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 at the end of the stage, backtracking right now and getting the the final seven, and then is gonna die and go back to the start and do the first three. Because oh, the ones at the start are actually significantly farther apart than the ones at the end. Yeah. And it, it's just such a treat watching Deku play this because he's playing it so risky. He plays it so much risky than everybody else. Uh, that third Chow that we get where we like fall all the way down, most people do that as either Vector or Charmy to play it safe just to give a bigger hitbox and like, you know, like to glide or fly if like, you know, you're a little off. Uh, Deku just kind of like jumps off his SBO. And then also for Chow number five, generally we uh, go off in like flight formation and uh, Deku just gr uh, does a belly flop as Vector and just knows the <laughs> spot. That, like, that stuff is so scary to do. Uh, just, like, so you know, like, missing the chow. Belly just... flop is so hard. No... <laughs> it looks so crazy. cool. I gotta do it. If you got the visual cues, it's okay. Yeah. Right, someone up that. And we're gonna get to see the, the newest of the... Uh... Of the manips, I'm pretty sure this is the newest one. There I were there so. were a plethora of, of, of other strats to to quick kill this fight, but they weren't quite AI manips. Yeah, I'm not sure if it's this or the Team Sonic versus Team Dark. I want to oh. say Team Sonic Team Two. Well, I mean that was like very recent, like the one that like Trail found. That's like because uh, I want to say this was before my time technically. So this was this I had to a fight. <laughs> So yeah, you don't, even, you don't even have to do anything special. Like you at least have to like time a jump and time your movements in uh in the in the team one fight to get the strat to work, and it's actually a bit harder than it looks. But this fight is literally hold left. <laughs> That's the strat. And, and you you have to wait like one second. I, I just like wait until one second on the timer, and then you literally hold straight left on your stick, and that'll that'll work every time on uh on the first load. Yeah. So you yep, can go, yeah, go and try that right now if you want it. Yeah, you literally could. For me, I think I look at Cream's face, like when the camera pans to Cream, which is also basically it's one second in. But that again, it's just like yeah. there's like a few different cues you can use if you want to do. But it's literally hold left at that time, and then that's it. Yeah, I think as long as you hold it in between one second and whenever you gain control, it's like a three second window. So <laughs> yeah, that's really easy. I thought for Hunter Castle. Yeah, this 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 level is super cool. Yeah. This is one where you do have to get everything though, but we don't get them quite in order. Like the first one we get here is is intended to be the second one. But we 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 you jump under the the platform at the start and get it first cuz completing this section just puts you right back onto where the original first one would be. That might work. Ooh, yeah, I was about to say, I know we're setting up a, fun, a funny little glitch that hopefully we can get, but you have to be really, really fast. It's kind of tight. So yeah, we're going to we're gonna see if it works later. Uh, there's going to be a flower, and if it just magically opens without Charmy having to sting it, then we'll know that it worked. Uh, but yeah, no, coming down here to get, uh, we have our yeah first four flowers. Uh, this is where we're going to do, because I believe Deku does the routing where we go to the flower no, first. Didn't work. Uh, it didn't work. <laughs> All right. Yeah, so you need to get far enough away from the flower that it despawns before that like little animation is finished, I think, and it'll like still store that you the flower's supposed to open when you get close to one, but it's it's a different flower than the one from before. Oopsie. Wait, I missed a key I did. Oops. Did you not get the one under the flower? No, I forgot. Okay. So just don't get the checkpoint. Yeah, you just not get the checkpoint. I because the... I didn't get the mid checkpoint though. Oh, did you not? No. I mean, it's still fine. I mean, it's... it's... I don't know. 
All right, so here's here's the uh, the Deku is alluding to. Charmy can fly infinitely, so we're gonna Vector's head is a standable object, and so we can kind of like use it here, uh, rubbing Vector up against the wall there to uh, get on him and uh, just again just refresh our flight meter. And so that's generally how the stage would end, but because we uh, we missed it, it'll be fine again. Uh, because we don't have to grab all those extra keys, it will not actually be that bad in terms of. Uh, going back to back trap but it is kind of unfortunate that we missed it it's fine we do nice get to show jump. off some of this movement yeah that slope jump there is this not is more like what the stage looks like when you play it as any any other team yeah yeah <laughs> get to see some more movement it's okay <laughs> sadly you dodged a checkpoint because i would have been significantly faster if you had yeah <laughs> oops I like how I just completely forgot, and that's actually because I uh, we found out that taking the flower before getting the key was faster. So I've been doing that route did you, recently. Did you go, but I, I forgot. forgot. Did you did you go down and miss it, or you just forgot to go down at all? I forgot to go down at all. Yeah, no, he just didn't go down at all. Like that, yeah. Like as Deku was saying, like that is like an extremely new, uh, like route thing of grabbing that key first. So I mean, it in a way, it, it does. It, it makes sense. It was um, just a little, little slip of the mind because we actually did use to grab the bottom one first. So. All right, it. uh, so that, so that fifth enemy, fifty-fifty RNG, is is actually really significant in this stage because level three Espio be, having the wind physics to, to blow out the, the torch will will allow his homing attack to blow out the torches, which will save significant time later on in the level. He's gonna have one more chance to get get a roll before it'll, he'll lose a, a, a crap load of time here. Yep. He'll lose like 15 seconds if he doesn't get the second roll here. Oh the what? I got flower good here. <laughs> Wait, what? What? From That's where? interesting. What? Wait, why? <laughs> Um, so flower glitch is supposed is is allowed to is stores between stages in in other in, in in other consoles, oh, but no. I didn't we didn't think it worked that way for GC. Yeah, now he's gonna have to tornado all of these in the hallway. Some of the torches are low enough that the rock cell hitbox will actually blow them out despite you being on the ground. But these torches are too high, sadly. So. You have to individually tornado all of them, which really sucks. Yeah, this is really slow. Again, yeah, loses about like 12 to 15 seconds, depending on whether or not you go for the backup RNG or not. Like that first 50-50 is just so important to the uh, to this the state of your time in this stage and in the run. That uh, that and it it, it can just mean yeah. so much. So you do get it right after the big room, but that big room loses so much time. And yeah, so Chaotix just has significantly more RNG than every other team. They they have the this this like 15 second roll in Mystic Mansion, and they have I think the worst for both uh, Robot Wave fights. It's got to be the worst for both of them. Oh, 100 percent. So yeah, I mean it's still not a whole lot when you compare it to other games. Like we're all SA2 runners, so we're used to worse. But oh in, in terms of this game, yeah, it's it bad. All the guys stuck in the chandelier. Let's go. Where's the other one? <laughs> That's a shame. <laughs> yeah, so we just TB this guy here. Team Chaotix's team blast is really slow, but killing the hammer hel helmet robots without team blast is even slower. So we just do it. Yeah. It's really a shame because the ones without helmets don't take that long, but the helmeted ones, you actually have to knock their helmet off. I don't know why the helmet like protects their ankles. I, you can, like the the ones without helmets, you can just smack them in the ankles. But yeah, the ones with the helmets, I don't know. You tell me. Oh, uh, maybe it's a mindset thing. Just the the helmet, it's just like this like placebo, and it just like helps them, but it's real. I uh, didn't get the full glide, but still pretty cool. Gotta play it as risky as you can. <laughs> yeah, doing those glides there on the rails is, is is definitely pretty risky. And but yeah, you could. 
If you can build up some pretty significant rail speed, even in that little bit of time, oh, and the glide conserves it really well too. Yeah, not too bad for <laughs> missing the RNG. <laughs> Uh, I thought that was something for the other one. <laughs> yep, the one second makes a big difference. Yes, yeah, makes a difference. I mean, 341 is still a pretty solid time while going for the backup. Would have yeah. been a sub if you didn't. Mm. Yeah, that that is definitely the hardest movement stage in the entire game, if you ask me. It's just so so technical, so many little things to do. It's it's so hard to optimize, even just like the torches. Yeah, big agree. They're definitely harder stages when you do skips, but in terms of skip lists, this, this is it. And there's and, RNG, so that always helps. Yeah, and like, the, the thing that I feel about that stage is that there's not really anything like super hard about it. It's just like not making mistakes, it's just like hard. But nothing is like so hard right. or Level two charmy, let's go. That's yeah. that's the really important one to get early in this fight, because where when you hit the switch there's gonna be a bunch of flying enemies that are really slow to take out any other way. Nice. And so and so that's at this point, sure. now 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 that he's got level two charmy, he wants level three vector before the cannon here, that'll be really important. Yeah, thankfully we're already level two, so we will have a few opportunities to uh to get this, which will be good. Honestly, level 3 SBOs might even be worse for this part. Okay, at least they were low enough. Okay, we got the RNG. Nice. Yeah, pretty much perfect RNG. The reason why you really need it now is because the next few waves you kind of have to do is Vector. There's like really no way around it. So that basically takes away the possibility of you getting them on this wave. Even though you don't need them on this wave, you just won't, won't ever get them here. Yeah. Because even the little like plastic shields are good enough to make killing things as SBO or Charmy really slow. Yeah, you really need them for these these helmet they're the hammer robots, because you can just melt them with the bubbles compared to the either level one or two attacks. And then coming up, you know, you thought one was good. How about three? And again, it just makes it, it just, it is so nice to have level three vector for these that you will, like, they just chunk instantly. Yeah, even level two, I believe it's just, it's just a better to TB rather than yeah. use the bubbles, sadly. Because what the bubbles do, like, I swear it's like six per pop. And so, like, you just, like, you actually, it actually does do quite a bit. And then even with, say, with, like, a yeah, you little, like, to get double hits early. too. Yeah, and then like with like the flamethrower, it's like only three damage as Vector slowly turns around and only does yeah, one you rotation. Can, yeah, you can you can easily like get at least two or three hits on on the really big hammer robots. Wow, that was a really fast uh, wave there. Yeah, and unfortunately they're hammer robots in both of the last two waves, so we're gonna have no choice but to team blast. It's extremely likely that you don't even have to do Team Blast glitch in between the second to last and last waves because the rings that you get as the Team Blast cooldown actually do just refill up the gauge, so... It is possible if you get unlucky with the ring counts that, you, that it won't be enough, but most of the times it is. Yeah, I did actually happen to one of our newer runners. Shout out to Taco Suarez. No. It did happen to him, but he wasn't expecting it. Yeah, I normally only do like one or two, just just to be sure, because I mean you are just standing there. Uh, and yeah, it was pretty fun. nice. Yeah, I know this is uh, this is a good robot throw. Yeah. yeah, with the RNG, that was good. Mhm. Mm Time for our best stage. <laughs> Time for my favorite level in the run. This level is so cool. It's this this so level is so cool, cool for, 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 for all the teams in kind of different ways, but Chaotix, Chaotix is so condensed because every other team has at least one auto-scroller, but Chaotix cuts cuts them out with the flowers, so it's just a lot more... It, it flows so well. And there's just so much cool movement going on. Mm -hmm. We're cheating, Chaotix. 
Yep. All right. So first off, I immediately we're going to get ready for this really cool glide that is kind of hard to time. That completely... This door is supposed to open, and uh, it does not. If you glide and go over the trigger, it There's will not. It's like already the first bit. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, this has to glide every time. <laughs> All right, and then, yeah, now coming up, again, oh, we go so here. Uh, one thing that helps, actually, uh, in terms of uh, those little dash rings is actually if you thunder shoot them at the same time. And, yeah, no, coming up here, crazy thing that, like, only Deku does, people are starting no. to do it. This jump is... Uh, yeah. I got you got to do a so tight hard. glide to, to get over to that platform with the cannons, and then you do a tight midair star throw off of the platform with the cannons to make it to a later part. And it's 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 really tight. So you actually have to, to do it pretty close to the edge, which makes even getting a mid air star throw kind of hard. Yeah, no, gonna get gonna get another go at it. That's wow! I was so close. Yeah. It's so the good. platforms are just like just barely close enough together that you can make it like this. So it's. You have to get a really good one to make it. I give him a last try. And this skip only saves like three seconds. Yeah, you would think it saves like seconds. infinite. <laughs> that was there, eh? Alright, that should That looked really good. Nice, yeah. Comfortably. Alright, three seconds have been saved. <laughs> Thank god. <laughs> Uh, that's exactly what we needed Let's here. Let's try every time. So we're gonna use the, 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 the collision on the outside of the ship, which is somehow not too no, steep to run on. I'm oh joking. my god. Well we got the checkpoint. Yeah. yeah. And you get a you get a metric ton of lives during this category, so you're never at risk of gaming over pretty much. And so yeah, this uh, and no, wait, that's not the one that's gets the auto scroll. That's the next one, I think. Or what? Yeah, yeah no, it's, it's, it's this one up here that skips the, the large flowers sequence. It throws you right midway into the battleship. Where we just had to climb our way up to where the glow ring is. Dude. Uh. Not even someone dirty. <laughs> oh. No. Also, by the way, I mean, the gimmick there, uh, we actually cannot get seen by particular oh, yeah. robots. We never even mentioned that, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, that's a big. It's, 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 it's not just particular ones, it's all of them. Is it all of them? I swear, I swear I've looked one of them in the eye. Either way, you're not supposed to get spotted by the robots. You're supposed to be very they're, sneaky. They're even worse at, than the frogs at doing their job, though, so. Yeah. You basically just take a pretty much about as good lines as you can in most places, and you'll just be fine. Yeah. Yeah, the only really scary one is the one at the end. Yeah. there's The one at the end has a really big sight radius. Oh, see you later. Yeah, so that's what I was talking about, about Vector being bad at his job. He gets hit out of his attack, and then he also has no way of recovering when he gets knocked off of ledges. Oops. So yeah, nothing crazy going on in the stage routing-wise. It's, it's just get the first five keys. You can go back. The, the IL does some, some cool routing, getting, getting the last ones as well, but... That involves doing team blast, and the team blast time actually is counted in the file time, so it is slower to do it in runs. Nice using his teammates to collect that team blast balloon, so he doesn't have to take the slowdown of getting hit by the balloon himself. We go again. Need this team blast for here because they have the helmet on. It just gives them a superpower. So yeah, we definitely need to do it now. And the, the, the strat to collect the last one is pretty cool here. Oh, the big boy glide. Big Let's glide. Go. Gotta do it. <laughs> and then you, you get onto the, the pole as, as Charmy. And if you're at the top of it and jump off, you actually have the height. That was early, yeah. Can we get the infinite flight glitch, though? There it is. There, there it is. Goes. Nice. <laughs> That's the backup. Uh, did you lab that rail speed? with? I, I was... That rail speed is so inconsistent for me. Uh, or do you just react and just go for it if you have it? 
I don't know. I just go for it and I get it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's it. Very insightful, thank you. <laughs> no problem. Oh, we got down the emblem, so let's go. Yeah, we also unlocked some That's stuff close. in two player, so that'll be really important for later. Can't read Italian though, unfortunately, so I don't remember what it actually is. <laughs> I don't remember either. But yeah, this this fight is is pretty crazy. We, you kill him before we even get to the arena where you're supposed to do all the combat by taking advantage of the the level two uh, three damage attack that we were talking about before. But instead of locking it onto a bunch of enemies and killing a bunch of enemies in a row, we're gonna lock it onto him over and over again and deal that three damage multiple times until he hopefully dies really quickly here. Also, get ready on time. It's not coming up soon. And time. Yeah, just like that. Nice one cycle too. Like the yeah, one cycle nice. was not easy, by the way. The one cycle was actually pretty difficult. Generally, like yeah, you if you get, get like both of your characters to get stuck on him and doing the the, the the attack chain, and it's 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 way harder than it looks. I'll tell you. Yeah, like Vector gets on it pretty easily, but like Espio, you kind of want to like move your controller around a little bit because you can like aim them with the controller on them. So you kind of have to like do some like a little bit of control stick move to get Espio to kind of like get with the time. So yeah, no, 18, very quick. <laughs> yeah, 18 is really, really fast. <laughs> the team is like locked on really fast. That was really, really good. But yeah, that's the Team Chaotix. I hope you enjoyed that run. Thanks for having me. Yeah, oh, that right. was an awesome run. <laughs> uh, Deku, is there any... Um, where can we find you if we want to see more of you? Um, I stream mostly on Twitch, but... You, one thing I would like, really like to shout out is that we're having a Team Chaotix LTS tournament, which is this category. And that'll start on August 4th, I believe, on Sacer underscore events. So, uh, yeah, if you enjoyed the run, make sure to watch that tournament. Go follow Sacer. I am, me and Aura are, like, the organizers for it. And we got, like, a lot of sign-ups. It's going to be really fun. Yeah, it's gonna be really awesome. There's, it's, it's because it's a no major skips category. It, it should be, re I mean, this game is hard, but like, it, it, it's not that hard to pick up and and get and get comfortable with. And there is a tutorial that was just released by uh, Joey yeah, Freefall that you Joey can watch Freefall. to help you get get started if you if you don't know where to start. And yeah, yeah I definitely recommend hit, joining the Discord and giving giving it a shot because this game is really awesome. Yeah, and it's just been so cool seeing so many new runners. Uh, Superior being one of them. Very based. Yeah. And I should like, mention that... Oh. oh, it's been cool like seeing like Joey uh, steal the second uh, leaderboard spot from Aura. <laughs> Joey too yeah, good. Yeah, I'm gonna have to take that back. <laughs> but... And yeah, it, it's... This this was it wasn't this way for a while, but now emulator is fully legal and on the same leaderboards as PC, so it's really easy to get into. You you don't need to get all the. You used to need to get a bunch of capture equipment set up to have a reason, unless you wanted a potato cam it. But yeah, with emulator and it, it's it's much it's much easier to get started if you if you wanted to give it a shot, yeah, which I obviously download Dolphin, really recommend. Get a controller or play a keyboard if you want, and there you go. That's the Sonic Hero. I That's went it. over estimate. <laughs> the timer didn't stop. What's the point? <laughs> <laughs> um, you you did not go out over estimate. We just uh, currently don't have someone uh, to stop the timer. <laughs> you're, you're good. Trust me. Yeah. The timer doesn't stop until you see the final time. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, Aura and Superior, is there? Uh, do you want to do any shoutouts? And is there? Where can we find you both? Uh, I'll go first. Uh, you can hit me up at twitchtv slash ora 66 and twittercom slash ora 66 And yeah, that's the ora 66 Yeah, no, it's uh, for me. I yeah, just um, twitchtv slash the Superior. That's that's where I am. Um, the Superior 292 is the Twitter too, but uh, yeah, no, I mean, again, just shout outs to Sacer and like the Heroes community because again, the, the Chaotix yeah. tournament's coming up in a few weeks and it, it, again, it's going to be a very fun one. The Team Rose LTS tournament last year was a great time, oh, so sure. this uh, this one should also be very, very good. 
Yep. That's all from us. Thanks for having us. I hope. Really excited to see the rest of the marathon. What do we have next? Um, we actually have uh, Sonic Shuffle next story Ooh, mode, Sonic and that is Shuffle. that has a four-hour oh, estimate. Isn't there the Dreamcast block in a bit? Yeah, yeah. Actually, that's what we were seeing next. Uh, it would be Sonic Shuffle, then Sonic Adventure Sonic Story, and then Sonic Adventure Super Sonic Story. Yo, the Sonic Adventure. We get to see the cutscenes. We get to see the story. Yeah, yeah. I love so that. Excited. That that um, that Sonic Adventure Sonic Super Sonic Story is actually a bonus run as well. Um, and just a reminder for everyone, uh, if uh, we're raising money for Able Gamers today. And uh, if you want to donate, um, you can actually put your donations towards a bid war that's happening. Uh, the current open bid war is for Sonic CD, the soundtrack for Sonic CD. Uh, and you can choose between the Japanese version and the US one. Um, and uh, that is going to be open until the run starts tomorrow at 1230. So yeah, please make sure to get your donations in for a great cause. Uh, everyone, we will be right back. Uh, so please stay tuned. Um, and, uh, we'll see you soon. Thank you.